Bills. Running so much game, I tore my ACL. I said that I need a short thing. She said, okay, Miguel. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so, I kind of fell off the routine. I know it's early in the year, but, you know, shit happens. Life happens. I think for the past four days, I wasn't prioritizing. Um, I had my stuff written down. I just didn't end up doing it because, I don't know, um, there's other things popping up, like my friends wanted to hang out and stuff, so I, I chose that instead of, like, the things I should have been doing. Um, but, I mean, at the same time, I'm not, you know, just going to stay on the strict plan all the time because at the end of the day, I'm human. What I have taken into consideration is that it's not the goal that's, that matters. I mean, I guess it does matter, but what really matters is uh, just the fact that I'm doing the things now instead of, you know, procrastinating like I did the past three days. But the fact that I have, like, the stuff written down and I, I kind of know what to do throughout my day and in order for me to hit my goals or the, the ideal life that I want to live, I, I have, like, a... I basically have a a path to go rather than you know just just going on with the day with not knowing what like where I'm trying to get to. But yeah, now I'm back at it. Um, I woke up pretty early today, and then I also worked on cleaning out the garage because I'm trying to make it to like an office. And yeah, gonna go get a car wash and then pick up my mom. Yeah, not so eventful in terms of like having fun and making this as fun as I would want to, but it's real life at the end of the day. It's not always, you know, messing around and having sick content because <laughs> I'm not there yet, but slowly but surely I'll get there. Just got you to the, to the school. Um, so we train the same time as the the girls soccer do so the JV is going to be training in the grass field while varsity is going to be in the stadium so yeah let's go got done with the gym um training i killed the boys um i did like a lot of a bunch of conditioning so hopefully um they learned their lesson and not lose <laughs> i'm just kidding i had them go through that and i just wanted to see who would quit and who wouldn't and majority of the team didn't quit they, they did a good job um and i told them like the difference between like a weak-minded and uh, a person with a strong mind how a lot of times there's players that, you know, would give an excuse of like, oh, my something's hurting or I feel like throwing up or, you know, just excuses like that. And I told them what separates the, the ones who want it and who don't want it is their mentality. Uh, I just wanted to see who would go and, you know, persevere through the through the pain and stuff like that. And yeah, they did a good job. Very proud of them. But yeah, training tomorrow because the game got canceled for varsity. The other team had to um, unfortunately forfeit because, uh, or not forfeit, just uh, reschedule because uh, too many players were sick. Um, potential COVID cases, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. 2022. 20, two days later. All right. What's up, guys? Uh, haven't recorded in about two days. But anyways, today's game day. We're gonna play against Orange. I'm not too familiar with Orange just because uh, when I was playing in the league, we, they weren't in our league. So I'm not sure what to expect from them. From what I've heard, they're like a quote unquote mid-level team, you know? <laughs> so hopefully we can change our luck and you know, get a, get a win today. Um, but yeah, uh, we, the past few days, we've had talks with our boys. Um, Heart to heart type of talks, and uh, <clears throat> we just told them what we expected from them, um, what they 
what we can do to improve in terms of us as coaches. I had our boys go through a conditioning, like tough conditioning, um, because I feel like we've been easy on them in terms of like our session and stuff. We've been so focused on the way we want to play, like possession based, that we haven't really talked about like the finishing or you know our, the way we want to defend. And then yesterday we had a training and. I was actually one of the goalies just to see how my my starters play and uh, it was very disorganized and not something that I like. I I like to witness um, because very disorganized and I gave them a key thing to focus on, which was like to play out wide to our to our wing back so they could cross it in and they couldn't even do that. Um, my center attacking mids were were instead drifting out wide to where my 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 right and left back were supposed to be and just totally just ignored what I said. Um, so yeah, I told him straight up. I was like, look, if you're going to do whatever you want and not listen to my instructions, then I'm going to replace you. As simple as this. Like I, I, I told him that that I have a sort of game plan that I want to go, go and play with. If we lose because of the game plan, then so be it. I'll take full responsibility. But if I put you in a position and... And I tell you instructions of what to do with that game plan, and you don't follow, then you're 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 out. You're gonna be easily replaced because at the end of the day, no spot is set in stone for any players. Hey yo, ready? Oh, <laughs> okay, oh my God. Kevin! Kevin! Yeah. 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 Ready? Assistant coach Cantido. Hey, where, where's my coach? It's right here. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, open up for him. Out the other way, out the other way. There you go. Look inside, look inside. Yes. Mario, head up, Mario. Yes, see Mario. Menon, Menon. Yes. Play the whistle, though. Play the whistle. Let him call it. Let him call it. All right. So, overall, pretty frustrating day. Uh, JV, we lost 3 0. I mean, not really much to say. We just, honestly, it just looks like they're, they're it just looks like they don't want to play or I, I don't know, but like, I know we can touch the ball and like, you know, knock it around and play the way I want to play, but they just don't seem to want to play that way and just do what, do their own thing and we end up losing. But yeah, we lost 3-0 with JV. Varsity, um, we, they actually played really well. They knocked the ball around. There was a time when we were playing the other team's game, which was long ball and like just chasing and stuff like that. So, but overall we did really well, except the last minute of the game, we got into a fight, which ruined the whole, <laughs> ruined the whole, well, at least it ruined my mood because, you know, now the highlight of the game was the fight instead of, you know, us winning the game 2-1. But yeah, um, we move forward and hopefully the games ahead are more better when it comes to our game, the way we're playing and energy and stuff like that. And, you know, more discipline when it comes to, you know, not picking fights and stuff like that because yeah, it was just very embarrassing. And in my head, I was just like, damn, what if like, for some reason, I invited like a scout to go watch one of these players, and that occurs, and then you know, a fight starts, and then I know for a fact the coach would be like, "Thank you, but no, thank you. I don't want players that you know don't know how to control their tempers and just get in a fight just because everyone else is fighting." You know. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We move on. Uh, right now, it's uh, today's my brother's birthday, so we're gonna go out and party a little so yeah record a little bit of that and then yeah off to the weekend <laughs>
it's Monday, um, so I didn't record over the weekend because I just, on Friday I just had a really, uh, what's the word, frustrating day, so, so yeah, all that, I, I think I had like a bunch of like anger built up, and yeah, the, the day in general just didn't go well, so I took the weekend off, and now we're back. Um, the boys didn't have school today, so we're gonna go train right now in the AM. It's currently 9.10. Uh, training starts at 9.30, so I'm gonna head there right now and, and go to training. The next day. So lately I've been stressing a lot about um, life in general because I've been procrastinating and it's causing a lot of stress. And that all has to do with thinking about my future because I'm not doing anything. And I just feel like I'm in a standstill and I'm just not getting closer to my goals. Which makes sense because like I said, I'm just, you know, chilling and not doing anything. And honestly, it's my fault because I do have a choice. And I have all these goals written down. Um, and at first when I wrote it, I felt, you know, super hyped and, you know, ready to, you know, just get it done. But lately it's been just me sleeping in or, you know, playing FIFA or having to go coach and feel like that's enough. But honestly, it's not. Yes, coaching is a big goal of mine. And obviously me trying to reach a high level, I got to keep doing it, which is what I'm doing. But I do have other aspirations. Like a lot of people, um, I do tend to push my responsibilities aside. Uh, like, for instance, a couple side hustles that I need to do in order for me to keep living like this and, you know, keep trying to chase my dreams. But there's times when you just don't want to do things and it gets to a point where you barely even paying your bills and stuff like that and i don't really want to live like that anymore and it's crazy because there's things that i do want to do like for instance training and wanting to go play semi-pro or something like that and i procrastinate on that as well procrastination is honestly a disease <laughs> and uh honestly once you take that one step that's all you have to do in order for you to you know progress it's that willpower you know to just Take control of your life and do what you have to do and just focus on the task at hand don't worry about the past don't worry about the future because honestly that shit fucks you up it really does it gives you more anxiety and stress and obviously we don't want that so by living in the present obviously you're just so focused on the task at hand that it gives you that peace from mind by just knowing that you're just working towards that goal or working towards completing something so this is just a message to me and obviously to you guys to take control of your life get your ass up work on the things you want to achieve and enjoy the moment if not you're gonna stay where you are so the choice is yours <sighs> just got done with my session uh yeah i'm dead right look at this field All right, I'm gonna go home right now, get ready for the game. So, yeah, I'll see you there. I'm on my way to the school now to take the bus to the game. We're playing uh, Santa Ana High School. They're pretty known for being good at soccer. I think, uh, I think they're first in, when it comes to varsity, they're in first place, undefeated. Yeah, so it's gonna be probably our biggest challenge of the year. So, yeah, hopefully the boys are ready. Hopefully we get like a decent result so we could, uh, you know, put a statement there that the second half of the season is gonna hopefully be different. And yeah, hopefully we challenge to, for our varsity to get a spot in the playoffs for CIF. Yeah, in Santa Ana, they're playing in the Santa Ana Bowl, which is like the big stadium in Santa Ana. So this is probably be this is probably gonna be the biggest stadium we're gonna play in. So so yeah, uh, looking forward to that.
Boys are getting ready in the locker. I'm gonna go ahead and set up right now. Big ass stadium. Believe it or not, I scored a 40 yard volley here. Top bins. Um, that was a Sunday league game, but it still was sick as fuck. Push up! Help him out! Go, Diego! So I'm in my room now. Um, game ended. JV, we lost 3 1. Uh, varsity, we lost 4 0. I mean, damn. It's like, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta remember that over the past seven years, we've had seven different coaches. So the program doesn't really have any stability. The discipline's not there. Um, boys are learning new systems, uh, trying to learn how to play our way. And just all these things we have to, you know, engrave engrave into their into their schools. And it, and and we're not gonna learn all of this in a few months because I've only been with the with the boys since probably October. So it's been about so it's only been about three months, so we only have so little time, but I've definitely seen like the progression. Um, especially today, the boys actually played with heart. Um, there's just little things that we need to work on with the, the organization and building up. I, f I feel like I've been saying that, but th it takes time, man. It takes time to to learn how to play as a team, and especially for a majority of the boys, they've never they never really played with like a club team or anything like that. So yeah, so they're learning as we go. I'm learning as I, as I'm coaching. Um, but yeah, man, uh, this year was definitely a year to just, you know, learn and try to find the, the, the right systems that I feel like will, you know, push us forward. And so far it looks like we're getting there. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, for, at least for my JV boys, majority of them are freshmen. So I'm, we're going to have them for another three years. So by then when they're seniors, we'll have a... A solid foundation and a system that the boys can learn and develop and you know teach the younger gen uh, not the generation the younger you know players coming up in, in the grade so so yeah yeah i'm just gonna end it on a positive note um yeah so i'm gonna end the vlog uh thank you guys for watching i know it wasn't as you know interesting or crazy because i didn't really get to do much throughout this weekend there's like a lot of things going on in life so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one